name is Monica Mbanga, and this is my husband, Professor Mbanga, and our daughter, Julie Mbanga. What is the problem that you're facing in your life that made you to come here? Uh, we had issues in our marriage and uh, finances, and we just wanted to know our calling with God. Can you please uh, go uh, uh, more into elaborating to us what is really happening in your marriage? I think the arguments and the fights, they were a lot. But then when we came, the men of God like just told us the, our problem, what it was. That, that gave us like the, the faith to know, no, God is here and is really answering. How was it really affecting you? I believe spiritually, physically, it, it, it was exhausting. How was it affecting you personally? Personally, you, you, you get tired of the arguing and you end up starting to doubt if am I in the right place or not. But if God comes and confirms, no, this is where I want you to be. You did not make a mistake. I am here. I, you know, I bless this marriage. I've always blessed it. So it's just like when the enemy just comes to attack. Sometimes we tend to take that and we put it in the human form instead of it being in the spiritual. Yep. And you saw the man of God on a one-on-one -on -one session. How was it? What did he say to you? Confirm the prophecy that he said. I uh, say, uh, actually, the other thing it is, uh, yeah. Pertaining to, um, it was pertaining to myself that there was a spirit of lust that was threatening this marriage coming from my father's side. So it's something to do with polygamous, being polygamous. And this thing, it wanted me to leave my wife so that maybe later on I was going to be infected and, you know, destroy the marriage and die, you know. And were you aware of the spirit that the man of God just pointed out? Yes, um, it's something that, the way he said it, it's something that I knew, you know, this thing, I realized that is there. We've spoken about it with my wife. Is there anybody in your family that you, you, you were seeing that he's having a spirit? Because ancestors, eventually, there's have to be somebody who's practicing that in the family. Uh, I know my father. Um, this I, I know he had issues with uh, my mother, and um, he married another woman. It, it was, yeah, it, I, I could see it, especially in my father. Yes. As a man who believes in God, I believe you also, when you argue with your wife, it would really affect you when you have to go and pray. How was it affecting you spiritually and physically? Uh, it was affecting me because even when it comes, once we argue, and then naturally when there's time for prayer, your heart doesn't feel like, you don't feel like praying, you don't feel like doing anything. So it was actually affecting the prayer life. Even physically, even when you go to work, you just feel, uh, you know, nothing is really right. There is no peace, you know. Yes, there is no peace. And today, by the grace of God, you were able to meet the man of God on one-on-one. On one. How was the experience and how did you come to know about the week of grace? Uh, the experience was great. Um, we came to church um, one of the Sundays and then they announced it that there's going to be a week of grace, yes, and then... Was it worth it, seeing the man of God? I believe he also advised you on how you should tackle these things when you have to argue, what should you do? How is it? How, tell us. Yes, I, it was very worth it. I think yeah, with um, his call from God, he's able to advise us, give us godly advice on how to, which path we must take, yes. From the moment you left the... You were both smiling, and I believe your marriage has been restored. Let's hear from you. How are you feeling? Are you ready to, to stand with your husband again? Or how are you feeling? Yes, I'm happy because like one of the things that we prayed for before we came, we wanted to know where we stand, we wanted to know our future. So when we came, all of that was confirmed, even our future. So, so there, you know, you can't argue with God. You can't. So yeah, we we're truly blessed. We are. Yes. No, we're tr truly blessed. Um, yeah, he told us things, I think personal things pertaining to what's coming in the future, what God has proposed for us. Yeah, I think it's, it's a true blessing. Some of the things we had uh, written down before yes, we came, yes, Lord, this is what we want. So it was like a confirmation. 
this is really so there is no way we never <laughs> told anything to the man of God or anything but he just confirmed what we wrote so we <laughs> were truly blessed at that particular moment when he was praying for you how did you feel in your body uh, for me it was yeah I felt um, I can say it was normal yes <laughs> I don't know how to say yeah. can you say you tapped into the grace on this week of grace yes yes, yes and yes. now encourage yes. people to come <laughs> it, uh, it was great yeah says i believe that god has given you wisdom that when you were facing obstacles challenges in your marriage you remembered that i have to run to god and indeed god was there to show you that in each and every moment of your life i was there because you just told us that god used the man of god as a vessel to speak unto your life about the things that you did not even tell him you wrote i believe you were at home that we want this and this and that and but they happened. He just told you. What can you say to the viewers out there? I just want to say, uh, I want to encourage them. If they can, they must come to Charis. Uh, one of the things I'll admit we've been battling with is finding a place to settle in. But then uh, I believe today, we've gone around places, but I believe today the confirmation that we had and the deliverance that we got... Uh, it confirms that there is God in Charis for me. I think that's one of the things when I look at it. I, it's, it's worth it to come here. It's worth it to come on the one-on-one. -on -one. Yes. We give glory to Jesus for your life. We believe that you are blessed. You are healed. You are delivered. You are restored. And you are coming back with a testimony that will shock all your enemies in Jesus' name. Yes, thank you. Thank you.